Biola University's employees work hard every single day to fulfill the university's mission. President Barry H. Corey wants to understand how this university operates. He's going into the trenches to see for himself how Biola employees are getting the job done. Will he be up for the challenge? Find out next on a very special Biola University edition of Undercover Boss. Hi there, my name is Barry Corey. I'm president of Biola University. And I'm so proud to be in this position because I have a chance to work beside some of the best and most talented staff members and employees that anyone could imagine. So I thought, what would it be like if I had the opportunity to get to know a little bit more personally and closely some dimensions of this community that I don't know as much about as I'd like to. And one way to do that, I thought, was to go undercover. Okay, so here I am out here in the commencement lawn, anxious to know what all is entailed in setting up these chairs and so many other things to make this graduation possible. So let me put on my disguise. And I know they'll never recognize me in this because I've never worn anything like this before. Hey. Hey. John Wallace, how are you? Uh, Andrew, nice to meet you. Tell me what I need to do. Uh, we're just first going to put the shirt on. This is We made this for our president, and uh, every year he promises to come out, but he never does. So Shh. you could just lay around and put him. that on. And uh, we're just going to put these chairs out. They've got to be nice, even, uh, straight rows. Uh, we got to best foot forward on Saturday for all the students you got it. and their parents. So uh, just grab a chair and let's get going. Don't want to let them down. That's right. Okay. Big day on Saturday. Okay, it's time to go. Now? Yeah. You can yeah, you go. Just, uh, you can okay. see you can see this pink line right here. Yep. You don't have to button it, it's fine. You can see this pink line here. We just want to line the back of the chair right up on this pink line. Don't trip. We have about four to five thousand chairs set up right now, uh, which take about three to four days to set up from lining the field on a Saturday to uh, putting strings out to get every row perfectly uh, centered and, and level so that when the guests show up they have this beautiful experience of seeing what we do here for commencement. Uh, that's, um, the stage is this way, yep. so we're yep. trying yep, there we go. That way, okay, got it. Uh, oh, All right, go. yep, okay. Hey, you guys are fast. Okay. There you go. Here's the, here's the hey. one. Easy, okay. easy, easy, slow down. I got a problem uh, here. Um, just think. Why don't you scoot them all over? Just, just move, it up, move it up a little bit. Can I leave it there? Yeah, that's fine. You know, I think that's fine. Okay. Uh, you know, I think John did, uh, for our first time, he did a pretty good job. Uh, obviously, I mean, we got a lot done today, so he couldn't have hurt us too bad. So what do you think of the New York Yankees? The New York Yankees. Yes. They're a pretty good team. Pretty good team, yeah. Yeah. They're my favorite. Oh, yeah. I love the Yankees. Why? Because they beat the Red Sox. Oh. Yeah. Anybody that beats the Red Sox, you know. Yes. Okay, Wood. Name's John Wallace. You know, I, I thought he was a little, little too social at times. You know, uh, he could probably do better to listen. Maybe uh, since he's so new, maybe if he could take a year uh, just listening to people, I think he'd probably be a lot more successful. But um, you know, a lot better than that Barry guy would have done. So we can say that much about him. The campus tour is a big part of our recruitment effort. In fact, some say it's one of the most important parts of the recruitment effort. Take the script, yeah, yeah, yeah. make sure you read over it, study it, yeah. memorize it, actually. Memorize it, yeah. And, um, yeah. and then, yeah. you know, before you go out yeah. on your first big tour, yeah. I want you to know this back and front. Yeah. Well, Biola has, the, from what I know, Biola's the best admissions team, so I don't want to drop the ball. I want to do something that'll make you happy, and best of all, I want to get these students here. Yeah, hey. Got to um, get them here. Good. I like that attitude, okay. and you'll do great. Okay. Just memorize right. the script, though. Okay, I'll do my best. Okay. Well, welcome to our Biola Bell Tower. John, you want to tell us a little bit about what the, um, what the bell signifies? Oh, yeah, honor to. They signify, um, like, like ringing bells, and, you know, the, the legend is that these bells, like, they're old, they've been here a long time, and they came from another building, I think downtown Los Angeles, something like that. Mm -hmm. They're old bells from an old building, and to be honest with you, I don't even think they work anymore. They just start. You know, the, the real reason why I want to have a job like this, um, to really know what happens behind the scenes with money. I mean, so much of the good work of Biola University is entrusted to this department down here of finance. 
They handle millions and tens of millions, well over $100 million every year, managing, accounting um, for every penny. And we couldn't, you know, we couldn't do our job if it weren't for this office. So I want to go behind the scenes and just get a little feel for what it's like. Um, whenever you're ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Bye. Now, when do you uh, use this received stamp? That's when uh, departments bring in their journal receipts. They're okay. putting in their departmental money. Yeah, so I see. I can show you what was stamped. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, now I can get into the uh, Disneyland. So, um, you take people's money in this job. I do. I take right. I take students, and then yeah. I uh, take yeah. departmental money. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm um, anxious to learn. Okay. I, got, I I don't know much, but let's see what we can do here. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, welcome to the cashier's desk at Biola University. So glad you're here. Why, thank you, you're yes. so friendly. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I used to work at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> That's where I learned my skills. It's a great day at Biola U. Um, so you like a check cashed? Yes, for one dollar. For one dollar. Hey, uh, can I see an ID, please? Oh, okay, for a whole uh, dollar. <laughs> yes, and I need a, but you have a, a Biola ID as well? I need two oh, yes. forms of ID. There we go. That's probably close enough. There we go. Well, it, it helps to be very exact, though. Six, seven, eight, nine. Would you take 99? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give you one more penny here. I think I'm going to drop one. There you go. All right. Is this to shake hands with people? Yeah. Is that what you do? You okay, I like that. that. I was always wondering what those holes were for. <laughs> I thought they were for talking, but they're for shaking hands. Hey, it was really good to meet the new employee. Um, I think he's going to fit in really well here. He looks a little bit familiar, though. I, I wish I knew who he reminded me of. All right, John. Yeah, John's the name. Yeah, good you to meet you. You must be Joey. You. Yeah, I am. Joe. This is Joe. Yep. Hey, and Joey and Joe. This Not is Joe the Joe. Uh, central plant, so welcome. You know, glad to have you as part of the team. Yeah. yeah. How'd the new guy do? Well, <laughs> he's a little slow opening that heat exchanger. <laughs> Boy, I thought he was never gonna get that thing open. And, and not only that, you know, I tried to stand him out of the way over by the power distribution panel, and the guy leans on the switch, shutting off power to half the campus out there, so we're gonna get calls. You know, maybe, he can, uh, maybe we can find something else for him to do. Maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know, office work somewhere or something. Yeah, uh, seems more up his alley. Yeah, away from the machines. Yeah. On campus here, uh, safety is our number one priority because that's what parents expect of us. Uh, each officer undergo 12-week minimum of training, which is equivalent to 480 hours. Today, we have uh, a new trainee by the name John Wallace, and I'm very, very eager to see you know, what, what he's like. <laughs> I'm 
so excited about this new job. So excited. Hey, what's going on? I want to introduce you to your trainee, John Wallace. Oh, trainee Wallace. Yes, sir. How are you, trainee Wallace? Uh, Chief, pleasure to meet you. I I'm so excited to, to, to work with you, uh, welcome, Chief. Welcome. I'm ready to okay. protect this campus. Uh, you guys do great work here, okay. and I want to fall into authority, do what needs to be done. The legacy of this campus safety is it's it's renowned and I and I want to be part of it. I want to be part of it. Very good, very good. I'm Tell me if I'm talking too much. I'm I'm impressed already. I'm a little nervous, right. you know. I've never. Yeah. I, it, that's fine. This that's is fine. what I want. The, no, the no, taser. I want to just we, know how to use the taser. We're good. We're good. Okay. Sergeant Medina will be your training sergeant. Okay. Whatever you so need me to do. I will leave um, you in his hands. You know now. Okay. When do I get to use these? Uh, not right now. Not right now, sir. Okay. Right, okay. Not right now. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, got it. Yeah, you want to put that away, okay? Can you help me yeah, put, put that back away? In? Oh, you got to do it yourself. You know, you're a trainee, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah trainees go. learn how to do this. Okay, let's go. All right. Yeah. Okay. Should so I always you, keep my hand on the taser? Be careful, though. Be careful. Okay, you know, Sergeant, I'm watching that, that stop sign up there. I've seen a few people run through that stop sign, and they shouldn't be doing it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take care of this once and for all. Do I, do I pull this out yet? No, not yet. Not okay. Yet. Hold it. All right. You new around here? No. Are you here for a conference or something? No, I work here. You realize you just uh, ran a stop sign? No, I didn't see it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we take California traffic laws very seriously here at Biola University, and we expect that people who work here follow the stop sign. Okay. Here's the deal. I'll let you off the hook this time. Next time, I'm not going to be so gracious. I'm going to watch I, you I go now. It. Okay. Okay. Go carefully. Okay. Thank you. Otherwise, taser. Okay. She's lucky. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's lucky. I didn't get it. Really? Right. Really. Okay, Trini Wallace, today we're going to do some suspicious persons. We're going to go yeah. look for them. Yeah. Uh, you want to go ahead and stand with uh, officer safety stand. So go ahead and stand with the 64. Like this? No, no. Go ahead and put your teaser away. When do I get yeah. to pull this out? We're not going to pull it out uh, for, uh, for a while. Right. You're still in training, so that's yeah. going to be as a, okay. one of the last. So I stand like this, hand on the uh, the weapons? Uh, no, you want to keep your hands over at the front. Just keep yeah. them above, above waistline. Right. And don't, don't make too many movements. Okay. Just stand casual. But, but with safety. Okay, okay. There you go. Got it. So when we're uh, walking around the parking lots or driving around, we yeah. look for suspicious people, anybody that's acting suspicious. I see somebody looks suspicious okay. right over there. That right. lady looks like she's trying to get into that car. She looks like she's like fidgeting. She's been at that, she's been at that, that key for, for a long time and not getting in. Now, okay, what you want to do is when you see... Only, you know, I got dispatch, we got a suspicious person over here yeah, well, on a blue SUV and I'm about to take her down. Okay, hold on. What you want to do is you want to make sure that uh, you go over there and you ascertain all the information and find out who it is. What, yeah, what if she's, what if she's, uh, what if she's a threat? Okay, well... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm this, I got under control. Lady, freeze! Huh. Ma'am, are you okay? Are you okay? Guess I got a little bit carried away, but the way I learned in police academy, better safe than sorry. You know, wow, I had no idea how much went into so many different dimensions of people's work here at Biola University. But I'm not surprised. I know it takes so much to make this place run as smoothly as it did. I was out there with the facility setup team the day before commencement, getting the chairs ready and interacting with them, campus safety, having a chance to see all they do to keep this such a safe place to study, to learn, to grow. I was with the admissions team as they think about what it takes to bring prospective students to Viola University. Even down the cashier's office and interacting with those who deal with the finances of this institution. And then going to the place where no one goes, down the central plant and uh, being part of just what it takes to clean the, the water filters to make sure that we have clean water. And I know I could go on and on about so many other dimensions and departments here at Biola University. I am profoundly proud of this school. I love my job because I love working with a team like you. So thanks for all the work that you're doing. Thanks for what you're giving uh, on the job in so many ways. Thanks for going the extra mile. Thanks for encouraging each other in uh, such meaningful ways. Thanks for uh, lifting this place up in prayer. Thanks for loving our students. This is a joy to work with you. Now that I've completed uh, year number four, um, I can't wait to see what God has in store for us uh, in the days ahead. So stay tuned. I'm so honored and glad to be part of your team and looking forward to what's to come. Hey, wait a second. Who's going to help me put these chairs away? <laughs>